Are you feeling me? Yeah. Are you trying to talk? Hi, Helpfuls. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel today. I hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing wonderful. So I went to back to Sam's today and I have been watching a lot of Sam's haul. So I will put down below some channels that I have been watching that I think you guys will enjoy as well um, that have been stockpiling. I, so I've been going through different Sam's, putting in the search, um, Sam's grocery haul, Sam's preps or whatever. And I'm going to show you what I picked up today. I only spent $147. Not only. I spent $147. I wanted it to be as low out of pocket as possible. I didn't want to go over a certain limit because I just went the other day. I do see that I am going to have to get a... Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to figure out where to look. <laughs> a Costco membership because there's a lot of things that are still missing. As well on the website... They sell different things than they do in the store. I did see a lot of things that were out. I didn't see hardly any canned vegetables at all. Um, I did mean to circle back around and get the chicken broth, but I forgot. I went with a list because I've been price, you know, price checking or looking at things online. Um, they do have a members mark string beans some bushes, pinto, black beans online that are not in the store. I think they're just out of it. And then the members mark string beans and corn, they are totally out. So let me show with, share with you what I picked up because I need to cook dinner right quick because I want to have it ready when Jason gets home. And I love him because he won't say anything, but he's trying to do everybody's trying to do a little bit healthier lifestyle limiting his salt and it's salt on everything y'all limiting his salt and um cutting back and stuff like that so i'm gonna make him some chicken right quick and anyway let me show you what i picked up okay guys so you guys already know that i have been stocking up i'm about to burn up stocking up on different stuff and some things i wanted to go back and get more of and one of those things was the buttermilk pancake mix. I know my family can go through a box of pancake mix like in one breakfast. So I wanted to get some more. Plus it's like only $5 or something. I'll make sure I put the prices. Um, I did find the chicken bites, y'all. I actually, when I got the chicken nuggets, the Tysons, and they like that. Everybody likes them, even Trail. They were right above those. So I saw the Tyson nuggets and didn't even look up. These were $9.98. Um, this is probably one of the most priciest things that I picked up. Um, I didn't pick up a lot of meat. I didn't pick up a lot of um, frozen meat or fresh meat. I didn't pick up a lot of frozen items. So that's probably why my total, too, was low. I wanted more shelf-stable stuff. And my, I'm starting to get a little bit of space in the freezer. But I want to be strategic about this, if that makes sense, y'all. Because... Um, I need to freeze some flour and some rice, but I also need to replenish what I put. Make sure I don't have nothing in my oven. What, what we use. So I got the 12 cans of tomato sauce. This was like $5 and something. I am loving the bulk because I don't have to keep going back to Aldi um, as well. And I have a lot at one time, but I still love my Aldi. Okay, I did get a rotisserie chicken because we were already in there. Um, they can cut it up and put it in salad, make wraps or whatever. Um, I got this fango, so I like to watch, and Mama likes to watch Meech and Monica, if you guys watch their channel. Um, and they go to Sam's too. And some people I remember, they go to Sam's, so they may not go all the time, but they go, they go quite often. And... So I had to go through their videos and I had to put in the search on their channel to find their Sam's hauls to see what they picked up. So the Fango wasn't bad at all. It was like $5. I never tried this before. Um, you get six grapes, six red pop, and 12 oranges. Um, I noticed, y'all, in this store, I don't know if it's just the store. It don't, I don't know if it, I really don't know because I haven't been there in so long. Again, that store's been there since I was a little girl. So... I don't know if it's because the pandemic or because, you know, so many people are not working or 
of course it was in the middle of a day mid middle of the day but it's a lot of things not in stock it's a lot of things that you think will have more items in stock and then they also had limits like on the canned goods which i was only gonna get one anyway i mean on the can aluminum cans but again they're saying there's a shortage on the aluminum cans that is coming or already has started i got the butter lovers this is the only snack that we got because jj has already went through that other popcorn that i picked up um yeah so we like this kind um actually like movie theater and i know the fresh pop kind is healthier and we do have that option too um and a popcorn maker they did not have any craft singles when we went the other day well they did but the boxes were crushed and it was only like two so i said i just wait and this was only seven dollars which i thought wasn't bad this very tastic um pancake mix you get three and i saw this in a haul of someone that i was watching and um i just i asked them did they want to try it, it was only like 375 y'all for three of them so they said yeah so i went ahead and picked it up the expiration uh is this year or best by sale date is this year so i made sure i'll make those for them for them i was watching someone else and she picked up the sanitizer i'll see if i can find these channels and she picked this up to sanitize now this makes 128 gallons of cleaner sanitizer and i know this is like concentrated food grade commercial so you probably have to be really careful with this. I know I will because I'm notorious for cleaning without gloves on. But I did buy me some gloves, y'all. So I'm going to make sure I measure this out correctly. It's only was $5 and something. Um, I thought I would try it. And I think the channel that I watched, I don't remember the name of the channel. But she said that her daughter works at a, a um, restaurant. And this is the same thing that they use. So I thought I would try that. Um, I got some tomato paste, 12 cans of this. So I have 12 cans. I don't have to have a limit of four. Okay, y'all. So over here, I was back in ceiling yesterday. Don't that look so pretty with that rice in there? This is some long grain wild rice from Aldi. So I still have to cut out the side and tape it. But it takes up so much less room, even though those boxes were really small. Okay, y'all, so the main reason why I wanted to go was to get some flour because they charge you a whole lot more of shipping with the flour. It's not free with the plus. So I did upgrade. I think I had like $36 to upgrade to the plus so I can get shipping because free shipping because a lot of times there were some things that were only on sams.com that I could not get at the store. And I really saw that today because I got to really look around i took my two youngest boys and i wasn't overstimulated because <laughs> it was so you know new i haven't been in there in a long time and and i was shopping a whole lot for the first time in a long time so i wasn't overstimulated this time y'all so i got to look to see what other things i have may have overlooked Plus, my husband, like, he was ready to go after a while. My mama was ready to go, and I was still shopping. So, anyway, I plan on getting the blue thing of this Member Marks flower, which is the regular um, flower. But someone came up beside me, and I saw the bread and pizza flower. Well, I saw that it was bread and pizza flower. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this. So, it's like $7 and something. It's not that much at all. And... I have to see if I'll go back and get the blue flower, the regular flower. So when I saw it was a bread and piece of flour, I said, let me go ahead and get this. So I also got a bag of another bag of the 25 um, pound rice. And this was nine dollars and some change. And this was um, this is 25 pounds. So um, I did get a question where someone um, wanted me to show how I prep my rice and yeah rice so i'm just gonna simply just tell y'all how to do it um again you guys go research check out homestead heart i think that's the name of her channel you guys recommended her channel my aunt told me about her channel i love her channel 
and she has lots of tips on there. So a lot of you all have gave me so many helpful tips and you guys correct me if I get these wrong down in the comments. I know y'all will, <laughs> but that's okay because we're all, I'm, I'm learning. So from what I read, and I also have a prepper pantry, several other books, with your rice, what you're gonna do is you're gonna freeze your rice. I don't have any freezer space. That's why when you saw the camera in front of me just a minute ago, you still saw my other bag of rice still sitting on the dining room table. So all my other rices that I have prepped before, I have froze those rice, those bags of rice for 72 hours. Some people say 72 and some people say a week. Then you're gonna thaw out your rice. And the reason why you're gonna do that is to make sure no eggs are gonna hatch in this and your flour, make sure that you don't have anything um, that may have got in it through processing. Um, also weevil eggs and all that other stuff you guys told me. So once you freeze it, make sure you thaw it ther thoroughly. And if you have any food grade buckets, you can get them from Home Depot. You can get them from Walmart. Make sure they're food grade. I got mine from the tractor supply company. They only cost like $3 and something. I think at Walmart, they may be cheaper. You guys also told me I can go to the bakery and ask for some um, of their frosting buckets or some of their bakery buckets as well and get those for on the cheap for like a dollar or something. So you can do that too. So um, I'll see if I can find the video on where Homestead Heart, how she prepped her rice. Um, she didn't put hers in mylar bags, but she may have be using her sooner. And that's what I tend to do with the bag or one of these bags that I have already. So one of them already froze and I have a half of a five gallon bucket already um, full and I have bay leaves in there. The bay leaves deter um, any rodents or anything from getting into your rice or your flour or your pasta and stuff like that. Okay, y'all, so I only have one bucket that I have cleaned and I have um, frozen, yeah, freeze my rice and everything and I have bay leaves in it, but it's not filled to the top. So I have a gamma lid on here, so I just twist it off and I have some oxygen absorbers in here. Um, my oxygen absorbers, I did learn that they are 100 cc's and so I need more in here. I think I have to put 20 in here actually, but it's not full to the top. So I'm gonna put, once I prep some more rice, I will fill that back up to the top. And this is my food grade bucket. So I have three more of these and you can get regular lids but I have gamma lids, so they'll be easier to come off and they are a little bit more expensive. They're like 7 88 something like that. So this is a gamma lid. It looks like that. And I got four of them. I have three left. And then I have these buckets here. I have four buckets because one came from Walmart. The other rest of those three here came from the tractor supply company. Now, if you're trying to store your flour or your rice a longer period of time to up to 10, 5, 25 years, then you want to get some Mylar bags. They have them on Amazon. Um, they are running sparse from what I last looked because I had them in my shopping cart and now I have them in for save for later and I think they're out of stock. So um, this rice here may be in a longer food storage I'm not sure, but the one over there with just the bay leaves in it, um, without the Mylar bags, then, then you may want to use Mylar bags if you're going to have a longer food shelf life storage. <laughs> so that one over there is not so much for that. Okay, y'all, moving along. I also wanted to get some more spices because I go through them quickly and then also I was trying to get stuff that was like $6 and below <laughs> so I could stretch my budget. And then I was trying to see if they had any canned vegetables and I knew they kind of didn't because I've been on that website. So um, I got some more minced onion because I go through the onions really quickly, the minced onions. I got some taco seasoning blend. I've been watching several videos and instead of getting the packets, of course, why don't you just go get the um, 
the seasoning seasoning sauce seasoning blend i got some minced garlic and water i was looking at this last time if you order it online you have to get two some things is like that on their website but um i was like you know what since i'm getting that stuff i'm just gonna go on and get this so it was like 3.98 my kids love hot sauce so i got some more hot sauce even though i did take advantage of a harris teeter deal where i got the hot sauce for like 45 or 90 cents each something like that it might have been 45 for each 90 cents for both okay y'all so then i got some more tuna um the tuna the spam the spam is now 19 dollars the chicken breast a lot of those things are really sparse now so i don't know if they just need more people to work to put these things out or it's getting low so i also picked up some italian seasoning blend they also had a pizza no spaghetti blend but it was a dollar more so i'm curious to know what was the difference but i didn't feel like reading the back um i got some ground pepper i go through ground pepper a lot so these seasonings is something i should have been picked up on picked up a long time ago i got some iodized salt this was like 164 and um i saw this in a, someone's haul so i said let me get that big thing of salt for a dollar 64 and then i got this chicken flavor bouillon i was on this last time and i didn't get it and i got it today it was less than five dollars okay and then lastly y'all i got some sunny d this needs to go in the fridge they had some kool-aid jammers today so food line not too long ago i was going to share with you guys that haul um but they had 30 instead of 40 for 5.98 the same price that they have it at sam's so i got happy when i saw it and i said they can't be food line can't be selling the same thing that's at sam but anyway um sure enough they it wasn't quite the same then i got some water y'all i really needed two cases their water's like 338 but gosh just looking at water's a lot so usually what i do what i've been doing since i've been trying to prep water i don't let my family because they will go through water really quickly they have to use the filter water in the refrigerator and this is for um a rainy day so they can't use this right now or none of the water that I have picked up. Hey okay, y'all, and lastly, this book here came today. It's called Seriously Good Freezer Meals by Carrie Truman. And I was watching another channel, her Sam's Hall, and I think another video she had, and she mentioned this book. I think that um, she and her apron recommended this book or maybe made some recipes out of it. So I um, ordered this book, because I was like, you know what? I need to do some freezer meals. Um, I did get a question too. Will I share any freezer meals? And y'all just, I don't have, my other kids are bigger, 21 and 15. So they can do their work, of course, on them on their own. But Josiah has to sit there with him and make sure, you know, he's on the right screen, doing what he's supposed to do, stay on task, help him with all the functions. Sorry if you hear the TV, all those different things. So that's a lot. Um, so I don't know if I have time to record freezer meals, but if I do, then you guys will see it. So that's it. I thought that was a lot for 147, but again, I didn't get a lot of fresh meats and stuff like that um, as well. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'm tired. I'm tired, y'all. I'm going to whip this dinner together right quick, and I'm going to sit down. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye. And what are you guys picking up and prepping? I would love to know. I would love to know because I've been going through the list, watching. I'm going to try my best to go back and try to comment to people. Um, yeah, because, yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been watching y'all on prep, prepping videos, watching, watching, watching. All right. Bye, y'all.